Hello there. Are you interested in arts? Or would you like to do activities that deal with designs and patterns? Do you perhaps consider expressing yourself in a creative and artistic way? Well, you're in the right class. Tune in as we will teach you the basics and some examples of graphic design that you may have encountered before, whether it be for a school activity or for your own entertainment. So for the objectives today, number one, we will define what graphic design is. Number two is to know the types of graphic design. Number three is to learn the principles of design. Number four is to learn the basic elements of design. Number five, to be aware of the possible applications. And lastly, number six, to apply these knowledge in real life. So starting with the introduction, Graphic design is a type of art or craft where professionals create visual texts and images in order to convey a message to its audience by using different elements of design such as visual hierarchy and page layout techniques. For the use of typography and pictures, designers use it to meet the user's specific needs and focus on how the design can be displayed effectively. Next up, we're going to discuss its origins, where the graphic design had a long history starting with the cave paintings all the way up to the Egyptian hieroglyphs. So the term graphic design is a term that originated from the 1920s uh, print industry, where local creation is one of the range of activities that is covered by graphic design. And we will shortly discuss the purpose where the graphic design uses colors, typography, and images to produce pleasing and aesthetically attractive visuals to gain people's attention in order to sell an idea or a product in marketing. Graphic designers must be able to use their fonts and colors, as well as the ability to send a good message that gauges the person's emotions towards a graphic design. And such emotions can range from empathy to sadness to happiness and so on and so forth. Under marketing, logos and branding serves as the first impression to the company, where these designs must be impactful enough to become memorable or to also be known as brand recognition. Such logos in real life could be like McDonald's, the Burger Kings, SM. Those are one of the examples of brand recognitions. Another purpose for graphic design is that it should be effective and efficient when it comes to presenting information to the public. These designs should also be pleasing and informative to the viewers who may be reading these designs. Here are the seven types of graphic design. Product design is the process that designers use to blend user needs with business goals to help brands make consistently successful products. Product design can be demanding and requires intricate work. But if you enjoy developing and integrating business goals into design and product decisions, then it could be the type of graphic design that you are looking for. Branding design involves creating, redesigning, or refreshing a distinct identity for a product or service. In most cases, this can represent the entire image of a company or organization. Branding design is all about how to conceptualize ideas and design solutions to satisfy the client's goals and objectives. In branding design, you need to have a keen attention to detail and understand the relationship between brand strategy and design. Website design refers to the design of websites that are displayed on the internet. Aside from that, it often addresses the user experience aspects of website developments rather than software development. There are two common methods for designing websites that work well both on desktop and mobile, which are responsive and adaptive design. In responsive design, content moves dynamically depending on screen size. While in adaptive design, the website content is fixed in layout sizes that match common screen sizes. Print design uses visual graphics to communicate a specific message to viewers. This design specializes in creating work that is meant to be viewed in a physical capacity. What's the difference between print design and digital design, you ask? Well, both of them are similar in many ways. They share the common goal of communicating with a target audience. However, you need to be an expert when working with print design since there are specific bounds and you need to ensure the final product is absolutely pixel perfect. 
Digital design may contain mistakes and errors, but with only minimal correction costs and can be easily fixed. Publishing design focuses on creative and detailed elements used when working with books or magazines, especially to attract one's attention. Eye-catching covers are common products of this design. Environmental design, also known as experiential design, combines basic design principles with elements of architecture and landscape design to create signs, maps, and other visual elements that people use to navigate the world around them. There are a number of practice areas that fall under the umbrella term of environmental design, such as wayfinding, placemaking, exhibition design, public spaces, research, and master planning. Finally, the most common and known type of graphic design, animation design uses specialized software to create everything from cartoons to animated social media graphics. The graphics that was created through this design can provide entertainment via TV shows or video games, draw attention to a corporate social media account, or help people learn through animated informational videos. Here are the four different types of graphic design careers that you may be interested with with your future in divorce. Number one is the brand identity and logo design. Number two, packaging design. Number three, web and mobile design. And number four, layout and print design. And here are the following graphic design jobs that you may pursue. A multimedia designer, a web designer, logo designer, a brand identity designer, a flash designer, a creative or art director, a photo editing or photoshop artist, and a layout artist. First of all, principles of design indicates how the designer should expertly and suitably systematize the different segments of a page layout to guarantee the elements of the overall design are united. There are eight principles of design. And the first one is balance. Balance relates to dispersal of the graphic design elements such as shapes, text boxes, and images of a design uniformly throughout a layout. There are two kinds of balance, and those are symmetrical and asymmetrical. Symmetrical is formed along a vertical axis and or horizontal axis where the weight of the elements is evenly separated into both sides of the layout. Asymmetrical applies scale, contrast, and color to even out the movement of a layout. Next is alignment. Each feature of the design should be aligned with the top, bottom, center, or sides to form a visual association among the elements. Alignment depicts the scale of each element by analyzing their proportion and concentrating on the elements that can have a powerful influence on observers. Organized alignment shows that elements are neat and well-ordered, and in no alignment, the elements are somehow cluttered and all over the place. Next, hierarchy. Hierarchy benefits brands to convey their message to the audience by concentrating on the distinct elements of design. Hierarchy can be done by highlighting the title using large or bold fonts, placing the key message at a higher level than other elements, adding shapes to frame the focal view, and implementing detailed and colorful visuals. Next is proximity. Proximity creates a visual association between principal design elements such as color, font, type, or size, guaranteeing the layout is balanced to build a perfect design. Proximity also allows the audience to have an enjoyable and pleasing overview of what they are looking at, thereby contributing to a good user ex experience. Next, rhythm. Rhythm binds collectively individual elements and adds a design but building a sense of coordinated movement. Rhythm is categorized into two kinds. Fluid and progressive. Fluid supplements a notable number of variations in design, maintaining the movement in a single direction. And progressive is formed on a clear flow that guides the visual movement of the onlookers 
among the diverse elements. Next, repetition. Repetition of particular elements such as logos or colors can help make a brand effortlessly identifiable and establish the overall look. Next, contrast. Employing contrast draws distinctions within elements, conclusively emphasizing the essential elements of the design. Contrast is essential for keeping the detail between homogeneous elements in a design, thereby heightening a layout's overall clarity. Examples of contrast are dark versus light, thick versus thin, contemporary versus additional, and large versus small. And the last principle of design is color and space. Color and space. Graphic designers employ a color palette to choose colors that can form contrast or even work together to complement other elements. That is all for principle of principles of design. First off, what are the use of these elements? Why is it necessary for us to know about this? Mm -hmm. These elements can help us develop a great design in case we need to do magazines, brochures, posters, etc. for our school activity, works, and many more. Moving on, there are seven known elements in graphic design. The first one is the line, the most basic element and commonly used by designers and even us students and a lot of people. Line used to connect and form patterns like shapes. Lines have different kinds of forms such as horizontal, vertical, diagonal, curved, jagged, broken, spiral, and many more. Second element is the shape. This element shows a figure which can be two-dimensional or three-dimensional. This element has three types. Uh, the first one is geometric, which we commonly use like circle, square, rectangle, and triangle. Uh, second one is natural, which we can see in our nature like trees, mountains, leaves, and flowers. Lastly is abstract. This kind of shape doesn't show the exact representation of the image. Third element is the color. This is one of the most important element in design because it gives a certain feeling to a person. Uh, it gives someone the interest and emotion since there is a psychologically saying that colors can evoke someone's feelings. There are also three types of color. Uh, first one is the U, which determines the color family. Second is the value, which shows the lightness or darkness of the color. Uh, third is saturation, which shows the intensity of the color. Fourth element is the size. Uh, this simply refers to how big or small the element is. Uh, this is usually used by designers if they want the audience to pay attention to any significant parts of the design. Fifth element is typography. This element is a technique in arranging the style of your text. Uh, designers usually combine different fonts, sizes, colors, and spaces of letters to see what is the applicable design for the concept. Sixth is the texture. This refers to the surface of the design itself which can be rough, smooth, glossy, soft, hard, and such. This element usually gives the audience some illusion. And the last element is the space. These are areas that are left blank on the design. Space has two different types. The positive space, which is the main focus of the design, and the second one is negative space, the background of any direct subject in the design. So here are some possible user-friendly applications you can use to create a graphic design. So first is Canva. So Canva is a free online graphic design software that allows you to create designs easily and quickly and available on web browser, Android, and iOS. Next is Adobe Photoshop the most famous application in creating a graphic design or any type of design and available on Windows and Mac. 
Next is Adobe Illustration. So it is a design software that is centered on vector design. So vector is a computer graphic image. It is available, Adobe Illustration is available on Windows and Mac. Next is Adobe InDesign. It is a graphic design software that is used primarily in the publishing industry. So this is, uh, you can create here the layouts for magazines, brochure, and other print medias. Next is Affinity Designer. It is a design software that also focuses on creating vectors and available on Windows and Mac. And lastly, Microsoft PowerPoint, an application that allows users to create basic presentations and some graphic designs as well. So it is available on Windows and Mac. So here's a video for you to watch to be enlightened on enlightened on graphic designs and other things that you should learn how to create a design emotion and he felt it when the attacks happened there's just there's a lot of emotion that comes in graphic design that translates barriers that translates frontiers and i feel that that's it's super powerful um and i encourage every single one to you know, like every single every single person can do it you don't need a diploma as we were talking before to be able to next is sample works so here are some samples sample works that we made from our previous uh, performance test. So here are some tips in graphic design. So first is avoid using too much fonts because of course in designing, we also practice neatness. Next is evaluate your color choices. Make sure to use of color schemes or color palettes to match uh, different colors to one another. Next is optimize readability. Uh, this is to make um, make sure that the audience can be able to read and understand the text in your work. Next is consider visual hierarchy. So this is about the alignment, the spacing, the placing of objects and texts in your work. Next is Make use of white spaces. Make sure to use enough space for each word and, and objects or elements so that it will, it will be readable and it will be neat for the others to understand the work. And lastly, be creative so that you can have your own ideas and it will also prevent us in plagiarizing other people's work and that's all thank you for joining our today's class and thank you for listening as well stay safe and healthy